Hi, my name is Mike Head from Atlas Ceramics and welcome to some of the common questions we get asked. Today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about um, protective impregnator which is sealing porcelain tiles and grout. Okay, so this floor here in our showroom has been down probably 14 years and in a previous video that we've done about how to clean uh, porcelain tiles and grout um, we did a test section which we were happy with and now we've expanded it and done the whole floor. If you do look at that video, you'll see that it perhaps it's a little bit darker, but now it's a lot fresher, a lot brighter, and smells a lot better. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, first of all, most important thing is do a test, first of all. Um, we're going to do a section here, which we're going to protect the tile and also the grout. A lot of grouts nowadays are modern and they have, are stain resistant, they are uh, anti-mold as well, but again, they are a, um, a cement base so of course they can um, absorb stuff into it this basically stops it it also helps in cleaning when you are cleaning the floor you'll find that the water will sit on top more and not actually soak into the actual grout um, uh, it's not going to stop it the grout lines from getting dirty because dirt can sit inside it okay but it will be a lot easier to keep it clean so to start off with, what we've got here is we've got a sponge, which we're going to use just to sort of like move the uh, uh, protective uh, impregnator around the tile. And then uh, at the end of it, when we come to clean it up, we've got a towel to remove it. And then we've got here, which is conditioning cleaner, which is something that you would use to clean your floor on a regular basis. Okay, so that's about uh, the main point sort of covered. So we're going to open this up. We're going to pour this onto the floor. The main thing to do is to have plenty of liquid going over. What you don't want to do is to do areas where you can't reach or you walk on top. You only must do areas that you can actually reach. Okay, so I'm going to keep a bit more on that. And remember, it doesn't matter how much you put on, as long as it doesn't go all over the place, because of course, when you've, um, your time has gone, you want to be leaving it on for about 20 minutes. Uh, keep moving it around, allowing it time to absorb in any part of the tile to help in the, uh, improve the porosity of the tile and also the grout. But you can take it off, wring it out, put it into perhaps another pot or um, a paint dish or something like that, where you can then move on to your next lot of tiles. Okay, so it doesn't matter about how much you put on because we are going to move it around. Again, reminding everybody that you must only do the area that you can reach and not walk on it. If your back's a bit sore, you don't like getting onto the floor, you could do it with a mop, same principle, uh, pour some onto the floor using a mop, but again, only do the areas that you can do and walk to. Okay, so we've got about enough on here now. I'm gonna be moving this around the grout lines because as it soaks into the grout, as it soaks into the tile, you wanna keep moving it around. We're going to leave it for 20 odd minutes now and then we're going to come back to you and uh, I'm going to show you how to remove it all and uh, clean the floor back up again. That's okay, so I'll see you in a minute. Right, well welcome back. Uh, 20 minutes has now gone um, and I, as I said to you before, I've been moving the uh, impregnator around the tile. Okay, um, I've got the tray here which um, I've taken some of the excess off and poured it into that. Uh, so that once I'm happy with my uh, controlled area or my test area, uh, then I can then start to use that on other sections of the floor. Okay, so I'll do my final wipe through here, through the grout, making sure uh, that every part is covered uh, with the impregnator and making sure I'm happy with that. So I'm happy with all of that, taking the excess off. So I've got some gloves, so I'll wring that out. Do it once more, just take off the final excess. So we can use that on the rest of the floor. Okay, right, so now we're going back to the towel here. Um, most important thing now is to buff it all off and take it down so it's completely dry or as dry as you can. If you tend to leave it on the surface, then it can get a little bit sticky. So put that over the whole part of the area that I've done. Main thing is to get it so it's literally touch dry and get it off completely. There we go. Good. Right, 
there we go, that's the floor done there. So next thing to do is to leave that to completely cure. We uh, I suggest that you don't wash the floor for probably two to three days uh, to make sure it's uh, completely cured. And then what we do recommend is to use the conditioning cleaner uh, from Lithothin, which you just basically squirt a little bit into a bucket and that helps protect the impregnator and keep it uh, going for longer. Okay, so now I'm happy with my test area, I would then go through the rest of the floor in sections and as I said at the beginning, not to walk over it, only what you can reach. Okay, so if you need any of these products, you can find them on Apple Ceramics uh, website. Um, if you need any more information, please don't hesitate to give us a call. But till the next time, thank you for listening.